I was contacted by a viewer who asked if I could do a tutorial specifically for the Duotone app in Canva. She pointed out that this is a tool I seem to use a lot, but I've never done a specific tutorial for it. And she wanted to know step by step how to use the Duotone app. The Duotone app in Canva is an amazing tool that I use all the time. And I believe it's one of those apps in Canva that is really a basic fundamental that can help you do a lot more with your Canva. You can change the color of a graphic. You can add a subtle outline to a graphic. You can add a colored border to images to make them more interesting or stand out better. There's a lot you can do with the Duotone app. So without further ado, If you're completely brand new to using Canva, you'll want to watch this video, How to Use Canva Easy Tutorial for Beginners. That'll get you started and give you the basics of Canva, and I'll be sure to put a link in the description so you can find it easily. I've already opened my artboard, and I'm using a wallpaper size so you can easily see everything. To show you the basics of the Duotone app to get started with, I've added this heart and you can see that it's a graphic that the color is set on it and it's not editable. If the colors in this graphic were editable, you would have different color boxes here at the top that you could change. But this is exactly where the Duotone app is super useful. You can make this any color you want it. So to get started, you would click on your element and you would go to edit image. And when the edit image menu opens, you can see that my Duotone app is listed here under the recently used. If I had not already added the Duotone app, you could find it one of two ways. So you could go to the home page and you could go to discover apps and click on this button. This page will open and then you'll find the Duotone under the popular section right here at the top. You click on that and click on use in new design. The other way to find it is to go back to your artboard, go over to the far left sidebar, scroll down to the bottom and click more. This is where you can find apps that you have not added to your Canva and you can just click on them and add them. Again, the image is already selected. So we're going to go to edit image and click on this button. The edit image menu will open and I'm going to click on Duotone. And then you see that you have all of these different colors and you can pick basically any color that you want and you can try different colors until you find the one that you really like and want to use. And then you would click apply and let Canva do its magic. And there is your newly color changed element. And I like this color combination. But if I changed my mind and I decided I wanted to restore this to its original color, I would simply click on the element again and go to edit image. And right here you have restore original. Just simply click on that and it restores it to its original colors. But with the Duotone, you're not limited to just the color options that they have listed in the Duotone app. You can customize it even further. And since we've restored the element to its original setting, let me show you how you can easily customize this. The heart is still selected and we are still on the edit image menu. So I'm going to click on duo tone again and I'm just going to pick this cherry color. And then you see that you get the three little bars in the middle of that icon. Click on these three little bars and this menu will open. And you'll see that you have the highlights with a color box and shadows with a color box. So first we're going to click on the highlights and it opens up the color menu and you can choose any of these colors, the default colors, your brand kit colors, or you can go to this button, which is add a new color and this box will open and then you can slide this circle around this color box 
and it will change to whatever color you land on. You also have the option to change the color family by sliding this up and down this bar. And then if you get to the color family you want, you can slide this around again and pick the exact color that you want. You can add in a specific hex code here, or if you have another element on the board or even one of these colors, you can use this color pick tool to click on it, bring it over to the element and hover around until you find the exact color that you want and select it. Now we'll go to the shadows and pick that color. So we'll click on that color box. And again, you can pick from any of these. And if you don't like it, you can click a different color. Or you could go to the add a color button, pick the color that you want to use, put in a hex code or use the color pick tool for a specific color. This bar here changes the intensity. And what that means is that when you slide this up and down, the intensity of the Duotone app will change. So if you go all the way down, there's no Duotone color added to the element. And then as you go back up, it slowly works that color into the element. So you could, you know, slide it anywhere on that tool until you get exactly what you want and then click apply. Let Canva do its magic and now you have your edited graphic in the color scheme that you specifically want. Now if you decided you wanted to change it back to the original color, you can do that easily. Just go to this button here and click restore original and it will take it back directly to the color as if you've never applied the Duotone app. And then if you wanted to go back and change the coloring again, click on the Duotone, pick any color, go into the selection, change this color, and then change this color, and then click Apply. And now you've changed the color on this graphic, not once, but twice. If you're finding this video helpful, please hit the like button, subscribe, and tap that notification bell so you'll be notified whenever a new tutorial is published. So now I'm gonna show you how to add a border using the Duotone app. And I've selected a picture and I've already used the background remover tool on it. And so that you can see this more easily, I'm going to add the dark gray to the background. And what you'll do is you will hit Control D to duplicate, slide this one over to the side out of the way, click on this picture, click on Edit Image, click on Duotone, and then of course you can change the picture to any one of these settings if you wanted to, but for the white border, just pick any of them, and then go into the customization menu, change this color to white, and then change this color to white. And now you get a complete whited out image. Click apply, give Canva a minute to do its magic, and then I would grab the corner, a top corner, and pull out just a little bit, and then I would come to the opposite bottom corner and pull out just a little bit to make this image a little bigger than the original. Then select this one and slide it back over. And if you feel like you need um, a bigger shadow, just pull this box up again, make it a little bigger, and then slide this right where you want it. Sometimes if I have trouble with it, while this is selected, I'll hold down the shift key and I'll select the box behind it and go to position and it's already centered. So then I'll click middle. This one is still a little, needs to be just a little bigger on this one side. There we go. And now what I would do is I would group these together, select them both and group so that they are right together. If I have to move it on the board or if I have to make it bigger, the white border and the picture stay the same. Now let's ungroup this and we will pull the picture off. And just so that you can see, let's go back to edit image. Go back to Duotone and we will pick a different color. Let's go with 
this color. And now you can see that it has taken the white image and made it this pretty pastel green. And then you can slide this back over. And if it goes behind that image, just give it a second or right click and select bring forward or bring to front and then slide it over. And again, you can place it right where you want it. And if it's too big or too small in one specific spot, you can just resize it, pull in the sides where you want it or pull them out. And then I would select them both and group it together. And now you have your border. Knowing how to do these two simple things with the Duotone app will be the basis of anything you want or need to do with the specific app. I find I use the Duotone in so many projects that I create in Canva that I'm not sure what I would do if it wasn't available anymore. It's just super handy and I use it a lot. Um, you can use the Duotone on any graphic or photo and the more you use it, the easier it is to use. If you have any questions about using the Duotone app or Canva in general, please be sure to post those in the comments below and I'll answer and respond just as quickly as I can. I hope you found this tutorial super easy to follow, helpful, and fun. I'll include a link to the free 30-day trial of Canva Pro in the description below, as well as a link to my favorite place to get graphics and fonts, which is Creative Fabrica. And I'm also in the process of creating a complete Canva course. And if you're interested in signing up for that, I've got a link in the description below for you to get on the waiting list and be kept up to date. I'll be back next week with another tutorial. And until then, have a great week and enjoy your Canva.